Welcome to iOS Swift Development Tips and Trick Course. My name is Andy. In this lecture, we're going to learn about the protocol delegate pattern, which will allow one object to send notification to another object. So think about the one-to-one -one relationship uh, between one object to the other one. And one of the object will send notification to the first object, and the first object can do some update or it can do anything with the data being passed from the second object. So the object that we're talking about here is communication between one controller to the other controller. And I have a starter project that I'm going to use. It's called protocol and delegate. So let's inspect the main storyboard before we move on. Let me make some room by closing the navigator and the utilities. So this is a simple storyboard. We're going to display list of cars in the table view controller. And then when user tap the cell, it will show the detail of the car name, make, model, and year. And now let's inspect our car object. So in the car.swift, we have name, make, model, and year. Pretty straightforward. And then when the car is initialized, we're going to set the name, make, and model, and year. And let's open our table view controller. So for this example, I'm going to initialize three cars. So in, essentially, in a real project, you're going to get this data from data source like core data or any other database that you might use. But for this illustration purposes, I'm going to use this three cars object and I'm going to put it in the cars array. And then I also have a property called selected car. So when user tap the cell in the table view controller, it's going to set that particular car and put it into a selected car property. So the selected car is a tuple with a car object and the index of the array. On the table view cell, so I'm simply displaying the car name and then the information about the year, make, and model. And when user tap the cell, we're going to set that particular car and put it in the selected car property that we have. And then we're going to pass in the selected car, the car object, into the selected car property in the detail controller. So let's inspect the detail view controller. So in the detail view, we're going to have the car name, text field, make text field, the model, and the year. So when table view controller segue to our detail view controller, it's going to set the selected car. And then on the view did load, if the selected car is not empty it's not nil i'm just going to set that selected car into the car reference and then it's going to update the text field with the car name car make model and the year so let's run the project real quick to find out where we are right now i'm going to run it So we have the three cars that we initialize on the array. So the first is the Honda Pilot, Audi, and the Nissan. So when user tap one of this, it's going to show the detail of the car. And then user can make some update, maybe changing the name or the year or the model. And then when they click done, which is what we're going to implement using the protocol and delegate pattern. When they click done, the new update whatever they change, like the name or model. And we're going to get sent back to the table view controller and the list will be updated when we get back. Okay, so now let's make some update on our code. So I'm going to review real quick in the table view controller. We pass in the selected car to the detail view. So now let's make some changes on our detail view controller. So on the done action, 
when user make some changes on the car information we're going to capture that information so let's start by doing that so selected car which is the car that being passed so i'm going to capture the name and the name is going to come from the car name text field that text and the next one is the make again is a car make text field that text and then the selected car that model car model text field that text and the year so we're going to convert this into an integer car year text field dot text oh it looks like i'm typing it wrong with just text okay so we got the updated information and we captured back in the selected car now we need to send this information back to our table view controller and we're going to create a protocol so at the top of this class file I'm going to create protocol and the name I'm just going to call it car delegate and it has one function that will update the car so function update car and we're going to pass in the car object itself now in order to use this delegate so i'm going to create a new property so far delegate and it's going to be the type of car delegate so after we get the information and put it in the selected car and we're going to send this updated car information back to the table view controller so i'm going to call the delegate dot update car and we're going to pass in our car object which is the selected car and then after we pass in we're just going to simply close our detail view controller so dismiss view controller select true completion nil All right, so we're done with our detail view controller. Now let's go back to the table view controller. Now we need to set that this table view controller is going to handle the delegate from the detail view controller. So in order to do that, we need to set detail dot delegate equals self, meaning the table view controller is the one that's going to handle it. Now, as soon as we assign the table view controller to be the delegate of detail controller, we're going to get a warning because we need to implement the protocol that we have in the detail view controller. So let's do that now. So I'm going to create the extension car table view controller, and we're going to conform to the car delegate protocol. and we need to implement the one function that we set on the protocol which is the update car and we're going to update our car information that's in the array and the index we get that from the selected car that index which is what we set on the cell right here when the cell is being selected so we capture the car object itself and the index of the table view cell. Now we can just use the same index. And we need to unwrap that and then pass in our new car, which is the updated car that we get from the detail view controller. And then after that, we just simply need to update our table view to reload the new information. So that's it, how to implement the protocol and delegate pattern. So let's test our app. 
I'm going to run it. So let's test by changing the first one. I'm going to change this to my new Honda Pilot. And I'm going to change the, the year to 2016 and click done. And we got the new updated name, my new Honda Pilot 2016 Honda Pilot. And let's try changing the second one, the one in the middle. I'm going to put Sandy new car. And it's totally changed the car, maybe change to BMW like X3 and 2015 click done and we got sandy new car 2015 BMW X3 so that's how we can use the protocol and delegate to allow the communication between one controller to the other controller